Earlier this week, Google announced its affordable home entertainment accessory. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is Google Chromecast. Google is no stranger to the home theater industry. In October 2010, Google launched Google TV with a handful of partners. Yet three years later, Google TV hasn't really taken off. Last year, Google pivoted into an entirely different direction and introduced the Nexus Q at I.O. 2012. The Nexus Q is a central device that bridges the gap between the television and the devices we carry in our bags and pockets each day, our Android tablets and smartphones, and it was set for a quite hefty $300. After some backlash over the price, Google decided not to release the Nexus Q and to go back to the drawing board. One year later, enter the Nexus Q Part 2, Chromecast. How does it work? How does it compare to the Nexus Q? And how easy is it to set up? That's what we're here to find out. Instead of a big, heavy, overpriced orb with a built-in amp, Google went simple and cheap. Chromecast is the size of a USB thumb drive and plugs into the HDMI port on a display or television, and it streams online videos, YouTube, Netflix, and Google Play movies and TV, and music. It requires an external power source via micro USB, and it costs only $35. Setup is quite simple. Plug the device into the HDMI port on your television and the USB cable into the other end of the dongle. The display will then prompt you to download and install the Chromecast application onto your computer. When you run the application, it will discover nearby Chromecast devices. Use the unique code to determine which Chromecast to connect to and enter the password to your wireless network. For setup, that's it. Next is streaming. Connect your iOS or Android device to the same wireless network. Open the YouTube application, Netflix, or Google Play Movies, and choose a video. Select the Chromecast icon in the upper right corner to toggle between playback on the phone or through the television. Once the playback begins, your mobile device or computer then becomes the remote for your playback. Your mobile device can control volume, skip forward and back, play, pause, and stop. You and other people around with iOS, Android, Windows devices, or Mac, not Windows phones or Blackberries, can add music or videos to the playback queue. And all around, it's a great social streaming experience, what the Nexus Q never really could be. However, there are some caveats worth mentioning. Unlike similar devices, Chromecast does not allow you to stream local content from your devices, only online content. And you cannot mirror your device's screen to your television. But that's only a small setback for such a cheap and otherwise very capable device. In our short time with Chromecast, we can honestly say it's been more reliable and easy to use than the Nexus Q ever was. Not to mention it fits in your pocket and travels unbelievably well. With the Netflix promotion, the total price of the device comes out to just over $11 if you're currently a Netflix subscriber. And if you only use it once in a blue moon, it's certainly worth it. Best of all, more streaming options will be added to the list of supported services over time. And what's better than watching Pocket Now videos on the big screen from the comfort of your couch? Plain and simple, you'd be crazy not to pick up a Chromecast for your own living room. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe. Find us on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you soon.